in this study of a woodland with birch trees I've dampened the top half now to put my first wash on I'm going to tip the page upside down and on for what will be the horizon just putting on a lovely sunshine summer sunshine yellow which sometimes does show itself on a winter's day I'm dampening it and merging it into a wonderful misty grey winter sky Just merge that nicely initially I put some masking fluid on the silver birch trees there we are, try to get that nice and fluid and a nice variegated wash. Just let that settle for a while. Merge that nicely. Let that dry for a while. And we'll stand it the right way. Now while that's drying, I should put a shadow wash on the snow. So all I'm doing here is with the grey sky colour behind here. Work out a shadow above here and above here. Then with water, we'll wash that down. Just give an inclination of grey winter snow uh, don't be afraid there we are just let the water settle there we are now using a smaller brush, I'll indicate some shadows under the tree. There we are where the trees covered in snow but casting a shadow. There we are. Then once again, add a bit of water. Tissue it off if it's too much. There we are. Just want a hint. That shadow under that tree. Keep your snow nice and crisp. If it's too much, you can always tissue it off. That's nice. Again. In this corner, I'm just going to add some shadow. There we are, as the snow falls over. There we are, it's a nice shadow on that. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is in places slightly dark, it's in places. Now back to the woodland. 
in the distance we have some bushes fairly far away and quite misty just get the wash in first Soften that edge slightly. Try to clean that if it starts running. Normally I would paint more flat, but for demonstration purposes, of course, I'm having to tip it slightly more than I would. So let that dry a little. darker grey should put some while it's still damp put some branches in distant trees These are really in the distance. And just make them out through the mist. And branches. <coughs> that dry slightly. Right, we'll just go that bit deeper now. Now it's drying. These would form trees slightly more forward. Not to worry so much, it's they're all in the distance. Quite bare. <clears throat> Do you feel Enough. Yeah, that looks fine. Not so much detail. And what you can do with the back of your brush, you can scrape some things out as it's dry. Does it better in the uh, darker areas? Just to Scratch some things out. Let's give it that, that, a bit more definition. Lighter trees. Right, we need that now to dry. And then we'll remove the masking fluid. Now a tip here is if there's some water paint on the top surface. Just dab it off with a tissue. So when you pull it off, it won't run. There we are. 
Now for speed, I'm going to try to attempt to remove the masking fluid off this one. I would normally leave it to dry half an hour or so, a few minutes. Right, there we are. Now because that tree is too stark, I'm going to put a wash on the shadow side. It's more of a cool wash. Off. I've decided that the light's coming from the right, so it's a moonlight or late sunshine. Let's yeah. try to soften that. You must try and leave some white, white as you can on that side. That's fine, yeah. Right, I don't know how to dry this is yet. I'll try this now. Oops. As I say, normally <laughs> I would leave this to dry longer. because of how I've pulled it off it's more of a tree that I had drawn but not to worry there we are so once again on this side put some shadow Branches. Oops, it's a bit, a bit too dark. Yeah. Soften that. Some branches. So they will be carrying on. Right. Don't want to overdo it. Just to give an indication of finer branches. Really, I should have done that after the trees, but never mind. So I'll get the masking fluid off this one. As I say, normally I would leave it to dry a lot longer, but for demonstration purposes, I'm wanting to finish it. Seems to be coming off a little bit better. Just be careful. It's be sticking a bit more than I would have liked. There we are. So once again on this tree, I'll do some shadow areas, a bit more blue. So it's a bit cooler. There we are. There we are. Okay. Now this one should be nearly dry. So on this I'm using more of an acrylic brush that's a lot stiffer than a watercolour brush. Warmer grey. Yeah. 
and the silver birch lines that you recognize. Oh. determines what a silver birch looks like. I'm going slightly over but just to get the general feel of things. And I think it's always nice to do sometimes do a quick study so you're not worrying and fussing about it too much. Just get on with it and enjoy yourself. Now because this area is quite light here, I want to give it a shadow in the snow. Right. Light against dark all the time. Merge it to that. And there we are. I think that's quite a pleasing study of. Uh, silver birch in the woodland. Hope you've enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you in the next DVD, hopefully uh, video. Hopefully it's a little bit better when I'm speaking. Bye.